It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Well, everyone, Democrats have retained control of the Senate. I, uh, I, I don't know if that's really official, but we're not a real news program, so <laughs> I, I'm just going to call it. Um, I was actually surprised they won given President Biden's low approval ratings. I guess Biden's kind of like the Jurassic World movies, you know, extremely successful despite a 42% rating. <laughs> Republicans, by the way, are not taking it well. Tucker Carlson, seen here struggling to make it through No Nut November. <laughs> he criticized, he criticized the voting, pro you guys are all doing it too, okay. <laughs> criticized the voting process and called electronic voting machines a threat to democracy. I'm actually not that worried about the voting machines. I'm worried that they're being operated by the oldest people I've ever seen. <laughs> Truly, this year, the woman who gave me my ballot was wearing two stickers, one that said, I voted, and another that said, I survived the Titanic. <laughs> The key Senate race in Georgia between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker will move on to a runoff in December, but Walker has offered Warnock $500 to just, you know, take care of it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Many black voters in Georgia were frustrated with another runoff election because the burden of saving the Senate fell on them once again. It's happened so often, there's already a movie about it. <laughs> In a, in a speech yesterday, Herschel Walker called America the greatest country in the United States. <laughs> but on the plus side, at least he has a general idea of where he is. <laughs> Walker then apologized for misspeaking, saying, I know I'm not always the sharpest tool in the refrigerator. <laughs> Senator Mark Kelly defeated challenger Blake Masters in the Arizona Senate race. Masters can now return to his true passion of, I'm going to guess, strangling hitchhikers? <laughs> President Biden said that he plans to run again in 2024, but won't make a final decision until early next year, because it's like his doctor told him, I wouldn't plan too far ahead. <laughs> After this year's elections, a record-setting 12 states will have female governors, <laughs> while, while the other 38 states will have dinner ready on time. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> A 25-year-old from Florida will become the first Gen Z member of Congress. Younger, said Matt Gates. <laughs> Rupert Murdoch this week officially turned on Donald Trump. First, the New York Post ran a cover calling Ron DeSantis Ron De Future, even though Ron De Future sounds more like a drag queen from outer space. <laughs> Then on Thursday, the Post showed Donald Trump as an egg sitting on a wall with the headline Trumpty Dumpty, which had to be the easiest Photoshop job in history. <laughs> and now Trump is threatening to reveal unflattering information about Ron DeSantis. For example, did you know Ron DeSantis is in charge of a state where some maniac was hiding stolen nuclear secrets? <laughs> Apple is saying that COVID in China <laughs> Apple is saying that COVID in China has led to a slowdown in iPhone production. Wow. So I guess the new variant does affect children. Oh. <laughs> oh. I love this crowd. <laughs> Nearly half a billion dollars was spent in California on campaigns aimed at legalizing sports gambling online, but failed by a wide margin, said supporters of the bill. Okay, double or nothing. 